darn it, where did they go? Hello there, I am Giant Corotal with my Pokemon Mission Engine Rescue Team. In the last part, we went through the Lapis Cave and it was a sad departure, really, and we were feeling blue because we ran out of time, basically, because of what happened in Pokemon Square about two parts ago. So, yeah. Anyway, let's continue with the dialogue. They had, they had to go this way. Keep your eyes open. Roar. Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> I think they're gone. Here we are in Mount Plays. We're looking around, having a fun time. Phew, I think we managed to evade them. But there isn't any point hiding here. We have to get through this mountain to get away. Let's go as soon as we're ready, Steven. Okay, cool. I want to check my levels on my on Cody and I, because I don't know if I'm under leveled or over leveled. Okay, I'm level 18. Uh, personally, I would recommend you being at least level 19 and your partner being like level 17 or 18. Cody is a little under leveled, in my opinion, and I'm just bare minimum, I guess, for being at an uh, okay level. But um, Mount Blaze is really easy if you have a, if you or your partner is a water type Pokemon. For me, I'm a water type Pokemon, so this, this dungeon should go really quick, which is good. Here's this, here's this Kangaskhan storage I was talking about. You can check your storage. Well, I'm gonna just store. I don't think you get, yeah, you don't get your items um, that are in Pokemon Square. You just get the, you can just store items that you've gotten. But, but you can also take back the items after you store them if you've made a mistake. Just trying to not store them, take them, and keep them in your toolbox. So as I'm going through here, I, I want to know how to learn how to do grab rocks, but I think it's like R and then you press, I forget, I'll figure that out I guess. Apple, one berry, cyber seed, um, big apple, oh this is like a perfect amount. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put the cherry berry in, yeah, petra berry. I'm gonna keep my two Ross berries. I'm gonna keep my sleep seed. That should be good. I know I still have a lot of items, but I just wanna make sure that I'm prepared and stuff. Yeah. See, then you can take the items. Whoa! You actually do get your items. Um, oh, I couldn't take any items away because I had full a full toolbox of 20 items. But you do get your, um, all your items from Pokemon Square, which is really nice. And excuse me for leading guys in the wrong direction. Is there anything I want to bring, though? Hmm. I think I'm good. I could use the link box, I guess I need link items, so I'll take the link box, I guess, but as I'm looking at my final items right now, I think I'm well prepared. Now, I think that Mount Blaze is either 12 floors or 14 floors, and then the peak of 3 floors. The peak is 3 floors. So other than that, you can just talk to your partner, and I am ready. Yes, let's do it. Where should we go? Okay, Rock Path is like a 4 floor mini dungeon, and it's a side dungeon, you don't have to complete it to advance in the game to progress in the game um, it's just there if you need to like get more if you want to get more items and then if you want to um you know get more experience but I'm at a good level I'm gonna just skip out on it I mean that's why I did all that training in the Maki Dojo I thought like it'd make up for it now because the levels are catching up on me now but um I think I, I don't quote me on this but um I think the rock path just does rock type Pokemon but I could totally be wrong but it makes sense if there was just rock types you know like Geodude, it's Onyxes, like maybe a Rhyhorn that's half rock type, you know, stuff like that. Whenever you're ready, you can go, and we can go into my blaze. Okay, let's go. It sounds very rough, but let's try our best. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, as I said before, if you if you have a if you or your partner is a water type Pokemon in this dungeon, you're gonna have an easy time, honestly. I have dig, I have bubble dig and water gun. That's awesome. So it's all super effective against fire type Pokemon. So um, let's see here. Um, metal claw set off, and scratch and burn and growl. Yeah, Scotty doesn't have anything really good against um 
you know, fire type Pokemon because Scratch just ne neutral damage. Ember does very little because it's not very effective. Growl is just a stat inflicting move. Stat inflicting move, I should say. Um, and then Medical is not super effective against fire types. So Cody might have a hard time in this dungeon. Well, he uses the other fire types, which is good, but again, he doesn't have anything, any good weapons really to use. But we'll see how he does. I believe in him. He believes in me, I believe in him. Oh, that's clearly a dead end. <laughs> I can just, um, let's see here. I'm trying to find the stairs. Maybe just at the right. Oh, a, pi a Pidgeot. Wow, okay. Um, what moves do I have again? I forgot. I have Bite, Water Gun, Bubble, and Dig. Answer my question right there. Okay, let's just use Water Gun. This Pidgeot's going to be tough. Oh, no, it missed. Shoot. Thank you for when it's attack, uh, Cody, I really do appreciate that. Cody is level 17 now, nice. His stats go up, how nice, how nice, how nice. Okay, so... I want to check how many of our RVCs I have real quick. I have one... One... Two, three. I have three of our RVCs. Okay, cool. Oh, there's... Okay, Numble is four times weak to water, water type moves, so I can just use Water Gun. This should be a one-hit kill, because it's four times weak, as I said before. And there are the stairs. Um, other than that, I should mention, I will mention that, um, if you have a fire type, if you or your partner is a fire type, it can walk on the lava, so that's pretty cool. So, other than that, I'm going to start the music up, and hopefully you guys enjoy the music. Oh, I might as well make a note here that I forgot to uh, mention before. Um, in this, in the Mount uh, Blaze, there is these um, Kecleon shops you can shop at. But if you use the right Obuck and a skateboard, you can rob them. But I don't recommend robbing them because even because um, they they call in reinforcements and they're really high level, and they can knock you out, which isn't fun. Um, I've done, I haven't really robbed them ever, but like, I have, I tried to purchase an item and accidentally went outside the little square and I ended up getting knocked out and I didn't even mean to steal. You know, I didn't even mean to steal the goods or anything like that. So yeah. Let's just avoid the Slugma and the Ponytail, Rapidash, whatever it was. Another dead end. I mean, I, have to, I don't want to go over there. I might accidentally step in the square area and then I might accidentally pick up an item and then I might accidentally step out of it without paying for it. That's my worst nightmare guys. <laughs> Not really but on you know, oh, no flash fire absorbs the fire. Nice. Don't go so fast. We just we came out to play man. I'm just kidding. Are you kidding me? I got one more shot at this before it goes off screen. There we go. Because I want to get the experience from that rapid ash. It's 150, it's 133 experience, and that's a quite a bit for right now, I guess. Oh no, not, no, I'm poisoned now, shoot. Okay, let's just use bubble. Do I have a Petra Bear with me by any chance? I don't think I do. Um, just raw berries, of course. 
Fuck, I'm just gonna just slide past you. Good thing poison only lasts for one four. Let's just hit the Sluggum with a bubble attack. Let's hit him with another bubble attack. I'm gonna go get- I'm gonna guess that up is the correct way. There we go, I was right, nice. Other than that, let's go back to the music. <laughs> Okay, so here's a safe point. And yeah. So yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Mission Dungeon Red Rescue Team Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on the peak of Mount Blaze and see what lies beyond there. So this has been John Kokin. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mission Dungeon Red Rescue Team Walk the Guide.